the M25 network has uh, almost 10% of exposed concrete road. Much of the time has texture issues and skidding resistance issues and uh, alternative methods don't provide a similar um, sort of improvement to skidding resistance as does fine milling. So two years ago we, we uh, were approached by Powerplane to um, trial fine milling um, following their success in Area 3 um, and then we gave it a go on the M20 initially, completed two kilometres and, and with great success. Um, so we've since um, rolled that out across the wider network and completed another eight kilometres on the M25 proper itself last year. Um, and thus far we've had very good results in terms of skid and resistance, texture improvement um, and, and ride quality. The process entails having uh, two two metre machines with a fine milling drum to give a very, very fine finish, smooth finish. You can decide what texture you need or what the client needs by the amount of uh, pick wear in the concrete, like the drum speed, how fast you're going. I think the innovation with the improved milling equipment, the, the number of picks on the drum, um, provide a, a more aggressive and consistent quality to the road surface. Um, it's more aggressive than, than alternative techniques and really, really uh, impresses the texture into the surface of the concrete. Oh, you get more grip, more traction for the uh, cars and the vehicles on the road. Also, it saves a lot of money. Um, instead of resurfacing, you're just taking an average of 8 mil off the concrete and making it a smoother, safer place to drive. Yeah, it's certainly nice to be at the uh, forefront of uh, new technologies and, and new techniques to maintaining roads. Um, and, and it's something we do positively in the M25 DBFA. The sensitivity of the machines is wonderful. Um, you can just basically leave them to their own devices and tweak them every now and again as into the needs of the client instead of you having to second guess or even um, trying to predict what depth you're actually taking. The machines will know themselves and take off the adequate amount. The average beam on the equipment is um, very good, brings, brings um, you know, a confidence of the, the ride quality. We, we know we're maintaining a cross force, so we're not going to be uh, um, incurring any uh, drainage issues or flat spots in a road. So, uh, yeah, I think the, the, the new kit provided by Virk and, and, and Powerplane is, is excellent. The, the cost per square metre of 5 million is, is largely equivalent to alternative techniques. Yet when, when considering the whole life and the benefit and the longevity of the effect of a treatment, it, it certainly looks as if uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, be uh, saving money in the long term. We've had test results on the M25 network for two years now. Um, all have been positive, so we've had positive texture, scrim results, which is skidding resistant, and the ride quality has been very good. We are planning to do another 16 kilometres um, only in a couple of months from now, um, and I only see that moving forward and building um, and probably to a UK-wide workflow.